Now I know that you've been taught to always whittle or cut or carve away from your body. And that's right, you know, like almost every time. But if you take that ironclad rule of only whittling away from your body when you're sharpening pencils, you can do it, but you go through your pencils a lot faster because the strokes are uncontrolled, uncontrollable, and it's easy to sort of mess it up, right? And so by the time you get something that's useful, you've taken half an inch off your pencil. The better way, and the way everyone should do it, and everyone does do it, is by turning it around, bracing your thumb against the side of the pencil, and then carefully using the increased leverage that exists in the palm of your hand, and with very controlled strokes, bringing it right down to the point that you want. It needs to be sturdy, it needs to be sharpish, it needs to be a short taper, and if you want to go ahead and kind of dress it, you can almost plane the edges of it off and get it as nice as it needs to be. Doesn't take long, doesn't waste much pencil. Now I know that these little gizmos exist, right? These little, let's see if we can redo that. Look at the difference. I mean, when I'm sharpening, pulling away from me versus when I'm sharpening, pulling towards me in the palm of my hand. Can you see, can you see the difference? Now I know that these things exist. They're sort of a modern adaptation, a pencil sharpener, right? Forget it. Now you may use that in your shop. You may use that at your bench. You may use that in a more sort of sanitary environment, but just keep a sharp utility knife in your bags. Draw it towards you carefully using the leverage between your thumb and your forefinger. You're gonna get a better job faster. Now what this does is illustrate, I think, one of the rules of life that are so, it's so easy to sort of be um, insecure about, and it's this. Rules exist for the strict adherence of fools and for the guidance of wise men. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.